What's going on, y'all? We back at it again. DVN Live. I want to go ahead and talk about these fights we have this weekend. The weigh-in we had today. Shout out to Anthony Joshua going up against uh, Carlos uh, Tackham. You got Dylan White on that undercar going against um, Hellenius. And you know what? Um, Shout out to my man, uh, Lawrence um, Okoli. Uh, you know, um, he's a beast out there in the UK, and I just want to say, uh, Lawrence, um, I ain't forgot about you, man. Um, I end up um, interviewing my man Lawrence out there. He showed a lot of love, and I appreciate that. Now, and, um, I want people to know I actually interviewed him once again, and I had uh, I left my laptop out there in the UK because uh, you know it was around that bombing, and they were being real tight on security. And you know, it, long story short. You know they had my laptop out there for quite some time so some of my interviews were left out there and eventually you know they they um shipped me back my um my laptop and now i'm trying to get uh some of the um interviews off of this broken ass memory card because they broke my memory card but th you know that's a, a long that's another story but anyway so shout out to my man lawrence okoli another beast and undefeated prospect who will be fighting on this undercard let me go ahead and say what's up to everybody in the comment section I see you guys um starting to fill up the comment section right now. First person in the comment section, my man King L. Ray says, Peace Dante. Okay, my man Simon Smith, or is that Simeon? Or are you just trying to be fancy with spelling it? My man said what well, he said, hashtag, got the fist up, that's what it is. Okay, man. I'm over here looking at the comments right now. So um, anyway, once again, guys, um, today was the weigh-in. And um, Anthony Joshua, he weighed in at a whopping 254 pounds. And that kind of um, surprised everyone. Um, you know, the question is, because he looks extremely muscular. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and put the picture up so you guys can see. Just in, guys, just in case you guys missed it. Welcome, everyone. This um, tuning in right now and it's in the chat section right now. Let me go ahead and pull this picture up right now. That's what it is, y'all. As always, I appreciate everyone tuning in. We're going to talk about Anthony Joshua weighing in against Carlos Tackham. Uh, White, he weighed in at 248, I believe, uh, against Elanius. And um, we're going to also talk about Rob Brandt. Uh, Rob Brandt, he lost to um, Jürgen Bremer of Germany. And that so he's out of that um, world boxing um series tournament we're gonna talk about all that man but let me go ahead and pull this picture up let me pull this picture up over here so um yeah man so this is the pick uh today the weigh-in now anthony joshua weighing 254 pounds he said you know i guess he's filling out he said i guess i'm filling out but you know the biggest question is when you're going 12 rounds can you really you know carry that muscle you know, for 12 whole rounds without it slowing you down. It would seem that that would slow down your speed and everything and, and tire you out because obviously muscle is heavier than fat. We'll see, man. We'll see. He's extremely muscular. He's getting bigger and bigger. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see if a fighter, you know, pushes him 12 rounds, uh, how his endurance will be. It'll be really interesting, man. It'll be really, really interesting. So once again, for everybody tuning in, Anthony Joshua weighed in at 254 pounds against Carlos Tackham. We've seen Carlos Tackham uh, go 12 rounds with Joseph Parker. Um, you know, that was a, he looked good in that fight. He looked good in that fight. Some people would say Joseph Parker didn't look good in that fight. But you have to um, give credit to uh, Carlos Tackham for giving one of the heavyweight champions, Joseph Parker, such a, a tough fight. That's pretty much what it is. Let me go ahead and um, take a peek at the comment section. I also wanted to talk about Terrence Crawford um, being the uh, the number one, uh, the mandatory for Jeff Horn's title. What's going on? Angels, my man Angel Santos, 
one of the moderators holding it down in the live chat section. That's what it is, man. Yeah, man. Angel Santo said, damn, dare to be great. It's all good. Let me scroll back up. Let me scroll back up. Comments moving fast. He will be back, Rob Brandt. That's right. Rob Brandt will be back. He dared to be great. Um, he moved up to a higher weight class just so he can enter this tournament. And he ended up losing today to um, Jurgen uh, Bramer. Now, Jurgen Bramer, now he moves on in the tournament. And um, he'll be facing um, your boy, um, Calum. Uh, Calum Smith, another undefeated prospect. Calum Smith, he actually beat the former undefeated um, Eric Skolin in, um, if, in that uh, tournament. So that should be a good fight. You still got your boy Chris Eubank. So, um, you know, whoever wins this tournament, man, is going to be a really good look. It's going to be a really, really good look, man. Yeah, man, I'm looking at the comment section right now. Let me go ahead and um, here. Let me see here. Let me switch things back up, man. Hey, man, shout out to AshKicking.com. If y'all out there training, man, make sure you get you some of them new box runners, man. BoxRunnerShoes.com. Them, them joints are them dope, man. Them joints are dope right there. You can run and train, you know, out of the ring, and then you can get right in the ring and spar in these same shoes. Box runners. All right. Shouts out to my man, Marvin Columbus. Yeah, man. Getting it in. That's what that's pretty much what it is, man. Like I said, I'm gonna talk about this Terrence Crawford news too. It was something else that I wanted to talk about too. What was it? Okay, I want to talk about this weigh-in. Anthony Josh was um, weigh-in today. We already talked about that. I wanted to talk about Terrence Crawford um, becoming the um, the number one contender for Jeff Horn, taking a peek at the comment section. My man said, Dante, the boxing guru. Good looking out. DZ, one hun done. That's what it is, man. Yeah, let me, let me scroll down. These comments are moving pretty quick. I'm trying to take a peek at some of these um, comments. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. DBN Live. Hashtag Dante's Boxing Nation. Hashtag New Media. Hashtag Decaf Busters. Hashtag Dante's Cooking Nation. Speaking of Dante's Cooking Nation, man. And Dante's Muscle Nation, man. Because um, we just um, left the gym... I damn near burned about shit, 15, 1600 calories today. So we gonna go ahead and me and team Williams, we about to go to the buffet, man. We about to go to the buffet and get it in. That's right. And I'm still gonna be under when it comes to my um, caloric uh, count. So uh, yeah, man, that's the cool thing about, um, you know, burning a lot of calories and, um, and getting a whole lot of cardio in. You can treat yourself sometime and still be under. But that's, um, you know, that's a conversation for um, Dante's uh, Muscle Nation. We'll get back into the boxing. What's going on, everybody, in the comment section? That's what it is, man. I appreciate everybody tuning in right now. Speaking of muscles, my man said muscles require a lot of oxygen, and Josh will be, will be suffer. He says will be suffer. I guess he means he will suffer from this if it goes the distance. Absolutely. You got to carry that weight around. You got to carry that muscle and muscle weighs more than fat. So it'll be interesting. It's kind of like, you know, trying to box with, with you know, with them, um, what are those, um, those little um, weights, those wrist weights and those ankle weights. You're putting those all over your body, them body um, weights that you put over your body while you try to work out. You know, um, you would you would think that it would slow Joshua down. But Joshua, you know, um, clearly he's been sparring. So you know, he he knows more about, you know, what he can do, I guess. We'll see. We'll see if he gets um, taken the distance against Carlos Tackham tomorrow. Fight start on Showtime, 5 o'clock. It's Eastern uh, Standard Time. So that'll be 2 o'clock for us over here, Pacific Standard Time. Some good fights tomorrow. Once again, Rob Brandt, he uh, lost in the uh, World Boxing Series. And he's out of the tournament. Congratulations to uh, to Jurgen Bramer. That's a good fight for him. I mean, whenever you're beating an undefeated prospect, of course, that's a good win. 
So congratulations to Bramer. Yes, sir. My man, my man Reese. What's that? Reese Tanaka. He said DBN all day live from the 215. Okay. I'm just reading the comments right now, guys. So anyway, while I'm, I'm taking a glance at the uh, comment section, uh, so Terrence Crawford, once again, I want to just go ahead and reiterate for anybody just tuning in right now. Terrence Crawford is now the number one mandatory for Jeff Horn's title, the WBO title at the welterweight division. That means there's a very good chance we're going to see Terrence Crawford versus Jeff Horn. As far as I'm concerned, Jeff Horn, he has nothing to lose. You know, um... He got a big check against Manny Pacquiao. He's going to get another big check, taking that ass whooping against Terrence Crawford. I hate to say it like that, Jeff. I hate to say it like that, man, but um, it is what it is. That's an uphill battle, and um, I don't want to sugarcoat that. Uh, you know, I it, 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 it would be very difficult for him to uh, even go 12 rounds, I believe. I'd be surprised if um, Jeff Horn can go 12 rounds with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford been looking um, real fly lately. Speaking of fly, man, don't these damn shirts look fly? I took a glance at the comment section, took a glimpse, and um, I see my man uh, saying, yeah, man, Dante, the shirt was dope. I got from you. Okay, King El Rey already got one. So King El Rey, he already know what it is. And um, once again, if y'all want to be fresh and fly like me and my man King El Rey, you go ahead and um, send me an email at dantesboxingnation at gmail.com. Send me your shirt size. Send me what color you want. And I'll have you looking fresh and fly and dope just like your boy over here. Look at that. Look at that clean ass shirt. Y'all see that? Yeah, we'll get you one. We got these in all different colors, guys. We got them in all different colors, man. I got a new shipment coming in. So it's going down, you guys. It is definitely going down right here. Dante's Boxing Nation. That's what it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, let me let me go ahead and take another look at the. It was something else I was about to say before I got distracted. What was I talking about? Yeah, Angel Santos will tell you. Angel Santos, he's telling everybody what them shirts is all about. Angel Santos, one of my moderators, he already copped some too. Hey, matter of fact, um, if, if any of you guys want to get a cameo right here on Dante's Boxing Nation, you cop one of them shirts, and I want you to record yourself saying, this is so-and-so, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation with that shirt on, and I'll make sure you get a cameo right here on Dante's Boxing Nation. We'll go ahead and throw you right in the intro, all right? So um, once again, if you guys want to um, cop these um, shirts while I still got them, I just got some new ones in because um, when I first announced that I was selling them, um, they went a little, a lot faster than I expected them to go. So I um, ordered some more. And if you, once again, you guys want to, um, you know, do an intro right over here, on Dante's Boxing Nation with one of them shirts on, go ahead and email me at Dante's Boxing Nation at gmail.com and I'll make sure I get you on one of these intros rocking that shirt. That's what it is. Yes, sir. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much what it is, guys. I just want to give you guys my thoughts on the way in, my thoughts on Anthony Joshua coming in at 254 pounds. He's fighting like a bodybuilder, man. Yeah, man. Um, okay, yeah. Um, my man Dave knew he's asking about the shirts and the hats. Once again, um, we haven't got the hats in yet. We do have the shirts. Um, the shirts um, from size small to uh, extra large, they're 20 bucks, okay? And um, double X up to triple X, they're $25. And then, you know, of course, the shipping comes in. Um, and if you um, are out of the country, you know, um, the shipping will be um, a different cost. But, um, or a different price so um that's pretty much what it is my man was asking in the comment section yes sir yes sir absolutely tix what's that tix gustina did i say your name right yeah we um we definitely ship worldwide you know dbn is international baby especially out there in uh he said in europe especially out there in the uk i'm gonna tell you right now man out of every, you know, UK, they show me more love than almost anyone, man. I got a lot of love in, in the Bay Area. That's why we coming out with, um, well, well, very soon. I got a shipment coming in. We're coming out 
with the Golden State uh, Warrior colors, DBN logo. We also coming out with them Oakland A colors, DBN style. Okay, those should be, um, I should be rocking those uh, real shortly. All right. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, we're gonna yeah we're gonna have we're gonna have the website dropping uh, real soon, guys. Once again, and you know what? Matter of fact, if there's anyone that does uh, websites designing and graphic designs and all that kind of stuff, hit me up because I'm looking for um someone else to do my website. So um you know um if you um if you want to rep DBN man or you want to help the cause man, um hit me up at Dante's Boxing Nation at Gmail if uh, you guys do websites. All right. Because um, the guy, uh, the, the last guy that did my website, um, we're going to probably move on and have someone else uh, do this new website. So, um, yeah, I, I will, like I said, once again, have that website uh, dropping uh, pretty soon. And, you know, it'll be a lot more easier for you guys to go on the website and just cop these new Fresh Fly DBN shirts and the hats and the hats as well. Yeah, man. Yep. So um, once again, since, uh, you know, right now we are um, just doing it straight email. Yeah. If you guys want to get the shirts right now, you don't have to wait for the website. You could just email me your um, shirt size and what color you want. And I'll go ahead and shoot you an invoice or I or I have somebody shoot you guys an invoice. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Just wanted to holler at you guys. Happy Friday. And um, I will be talking tomorrow. We'll be talking tomorrow after um, we see what um, Anthony Joshua, Dylan White, and um, my man Lawrence O'Coley. After um, they get their wins, um, you know, we'll, we'll see if they get their wins tomorrow. I think um, when it comes to um, Joshua versus Tackham, you know, um, Tackham is um, very durable. Even though he did get knocked out by Alexander Povekin, but he showed that he was durable against Joseph Parker. I still believe that Anthony Joshua, he'll try to get him out of there early. I wouldn't be surprised if, um, if Carlos Tackham, if he weathers the storm early and um, makes it a competitive fight for a couple of rounds and then eventually uh, gets caught and gets knocked out. But once again, it'll be interesting if um, Tackham can take Anthony Joshua to the later rounds so we can see how um, uh, Joshua, he carries that 254 pounds of muscle over, around. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, man. So anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. We're about to go out and get something real good to eat. Let me go ahead and fuel this body, man. Like I said, I had a real good workout today, and I'm about to eat real good, man. So um, that's pretty much what it is. Team Williams about to go get it in. So, yeah, man, that's what it is, guys. Once again, tune in this Sunday to the radio show. All right? Now, I know um, I had to call in um, the call-in information on the screen, but um, I didn't open up the phone lines, okay? So um, I forgot that, that that screen was actually up. But, um, yeah, you know, obviously, yeah, we, we uh, didn't open the phone lines. But the phone lines will be open this Sunday on the radio show. Tune in, 6 o'clock, Pacific Standard Time. If you want to call in, you want to holler at your boy DBN, you want to just go ahead and um, tell us what's on your mind, uh, you want to rep your city, whatever, go ahead and call in this Sunday, okay, on DBN Radio Live. That's what it is, man. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, I'll talk to you guys after the fights tomorrow. That's pretty much all I got, man. We're going to wrap it up right now. Thank you for everybody tuning in as always. You already know what it is, though. It's the nation, baby. Yep.